What's all that noise coming from the wireless? Hmm. Well, I'm going to take you on a tour. Not a normal tour. It's the posh kids tour. They're doing it for charity, you know. Hmm. Looks as though they're getting ready for something as well. I'll be bound. Hold on a minute. Who's this coming? Yes. Yes, there he is. That's Steve Elias. He's the bass guitarist, you know. Jolly fine fellow. You come to see the posh kids? Ha. I'll tell you something. My band this, you know. Started off ages ago. I wrote a song called The Posh Kid Blues because I'm dead posh, right? And I met Glenn, who's a bit posher than me. And I thought, he's a posh kid. And then I met another guy who was not with us anymore, but he wasn't posh enough, you know. Steve, he's pretty posh. Dave's dead posh. He's got a posh bird. And uh, they all like to think they're the leader of the band, but I thought, nah, me. So I got him on the road, which is what we're doing tonight. I mean, Glenn's done little things, you know, like poxy shirts and things. He got that. Uh, uh, thanks, Glyn's mum, uh, basically. Well, anyway, I'm gonna, I've got to go, right? I'll uh, catch you later on. Anything else, boys? This is Des, it's hours late. Here we see Steve, Desmond and David packing the stuff up. They're practicing, you know, for the big tour. They don't usually move the stuff about. They leave it all to Sam and Glyn. Hmm, they certainly need the practice. Look at that. Like I was saying, Des is the, uh, the like, Roddy, and that's why he's not got any air. Can't believe I was such an arse on the radio. What a gibbering you Still, the fans want to hear it. Rock and roll! Let's meet Glid. He's the guitarist, you know. You're going to blood jump me all the time this tour, aren't you? No, I'm not. You're a bludger, mate. You always will be. Blood up, exactly. This is the Posh Kids doing one of their many warm-up gigs for the charity tour. But this one's not for charity. No, sir, Mrs. Biggins, this money's going straight in their back pockets. Well, I can't say I agree with that, but still, rock and roll is rock and roll. This is the 18th, and now uh, we're playing there on the 19th. So uh, that's just the guy um, look, with the band that we booked months ago, and we're playing for your place tonight. We're just confirming, okay? And guys are like, sorry, I don't know anything about it. And that's what well, we sent you posters and everything. Posters? He said, posters? Oh, I've got some posters in my drawing. So he pulls out the poster, right? And it's posh kids all over it. And it turns out this guy straight after booking us. I don't know how car crash, I forgot I think <laughs> Telegraph. Posh. I'm a posh kid. I'm going to do a crossword now, watch it. John. Yeah. Hey, let's see what's in the Telegraph this morning. Accountant too proud to claim uh, doll, raided banks. Housing market picked up. We've hit rock bottom. Uh, father humiliated, son's teacher in class is hot. Posh kids go on tour. And the BBC play jump around cry uh, over repeat programs. Oh, the rubbish the telegraph is, eh? Get some good reading. Where's the Sunday sport? So guys, what do you think of the posh kids? Bollocks! Well actually I think they're great. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> I'm Dave and uh, I'm the drummer with the band. I rejoined the band about six weeks before they went on tour, so therefore for the first night of the tour, I sounded like I've been the only one practicing. Oh, 
I, I bumped into these couple of tossers just trying to play music one day. Found they needed a bass guitarist, so here I am. I'm just taking time out right now from the Zoo Rope Tour to help them out. Well, I'll be sure to drive anyone's car as long as the owner's permission, but yours is a company car, isn't it? That's cool. That's fine. I came on the tour. I was down at the uh, district office at Holton, and I got a phone call from Glyn inviting me to go on tour for two weeks. So it was either a toss-up between going to work for two weeks or going out drinking heavily and meeting Mrs. McGuinea Guinea Gnu. And uh, the tour won. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't that Sam from the Posh Kids? Yes, it is. He's a piano player, you know. very talented. Hold on a minute. He's got a guitar in his hand and I think he's trying to attempt to sing. Hmm. Oh, there's a bass guitar as well. I think there must be some top foolery going on in the projector room. Could you stop it please now? Yes, Sam's a drummer as well. Well done, Sam. There is one person we haven't met yet, that's Calvin. He organised the tour. It's a very busy job, you know, and he's a very busy person. Let's see if we can catch him then. and knackered and I uh, changed my trousers at least three times nothing to do with fashion purely because I'd shat myself yeah after the gig we got on the van and uh, everybody was really tired but there was absolutely no chance of any sleep on account of everybody that had about four shandies I was dying for a piss Now in a moment, we're going to meet Des, the sound man. He hasn't got any hair, but don't be frightened, children. He's just the same as us, probably. Are you okay to move our cars? I told them we're going to be away for two weeks. Obviously, so we're going to do it now. I've left my keys in the section, mate. It's all right. I'll get it done for me, yeah? Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, I'm going to move my car anyway. I'll move on to the... Uh... Okay. Right. See Really hungry, really. So, with any bottle of aftershave and a belly full of spunk, the posh kids set out on their do brid tour. Have a good time, boys. Remember, little children are depending on you. Welcome to Scotch Garden. It's a pity he wasn't a musician. <laughs> it's still three o'clock and we're still in Scotch Corner. And the camera's now working. And the camera works, Phil. Yes, what am I? A runner bee. Uh, we just come to Scotch Garden, as you can see, the people are not across about our uh, first hour door trying to do. Hey, what do you mean? Yeah, no. He said something. What he said something, sorry. Yeah! Hey, listen, uh, we're a band, right, so we've got to go and trash something. <laughs> Let's go and trash the trash can. Rock and roll. We'll start somewhere, we've got to practice. Oops. <laughs> 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 Sorry. 
Hey, Steve, what? I'll follow you hey. to the A66. I don't know where the fuck it is now. I don't even know where I am. behind us, this van's so fast, we're leaving them behind. Right. It's actually a very cruel record to start a show off with. By the way, this is uh, another treeless area. Back from the little area up there with trees on it. Oh, here it comes. Sunday morning on BBC Radio 1 FM, Gary Davis with you through to all 10 o'clock. Don't be doing something to be passing us, I'll tell you. I don't see anybody.
So, after 11 hours on the road and not very much sleep at all, the posh kids make their way to RAF Kid Loss. Everything looks tickety boo as the posh kids set up for their second gig at RF Kid Loss. But hold on, one quick phone call to RF Lucas and they find out they're not expected. There's only one man who can sort this one out. It's Dez. He's the roadie, you know. That's why he hasn't got any hair. After a sensational second night gig, there's nothing more the posh kids like doing than walking around and having a look at the local scenery. Whoops, watch that ramp, it may be slippy. It's not all play, you know. The posh kids probably right at this very moment to discussing the technicalities of last night's gig. They probably got a few words to say to Des. They're probably modestly saying how well it went as well. It was exceptionally good, so I understand. The good one last night. It's good last night. I was probably the best yeah, in the group. Well, they're not actually. They like me. They like me. They were shagging around. We uh, we nearly scored as well. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so Sam, Sam came and sat. <laughs> Sam came and sat. Down. It was two nil to the women. <laughs> yeah, she loved me, I'll tell you. So bucket. Well, good. Mm. Good. Who showed Johnny Seagull? Michael Winner is oh, right. And now, what better than to go to Mrs. Biggins' tea shop and have some tea and crumpet and discuss cultural backgrounds? Why don't you just put a hanky on your head as well? He's a northern man, isn't he? He picked me up northern man. <laughs> it's in the evolutionary scale, this sort of stone age man, filth down man, northern man. 
Iron Age man. <laughs> hey, my grandfather was Northern man. He was he was the man with the deck chair and the blanket. <laughs> the flat cap. <laughs> Victorian father. Forty Embassy number one in the point of stands. <laughs> that was it. Like exactly. He goes anywhere for so 40 miles away from the Humber and he didn't like it. So like, well, I'll fish and chips then. Uh, if he didn't swim up the Humber, I'm not shaft and eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing swims up the umber anymore. Everything's dead. Like, you know. What do you want to turn on? <laughs> yeah, a humber goldfish. You're on maybe on bland eel. <laughs> Amazing goldfish. After a jolly good gig at RF Buchan, the bus kids pack up their belongings and head down south. They go to RF Lucas. That's near St Andrews. Let's have a look at some of the scenery on the way. Hello there. Is that the fourth rail bridge? Yes. That's the fourth bridge. Yes. Hello. There's a Royal Nathan Golf Club at St Andrews. It's where a fellow goes to play golf on a Sunday while his wife stays in the kitchen and cooks him dinner for his return. It's a hungry game, you know. Here's Town Centre, a place of great learning. The Poskies don't feel too comfortable here. But hold on, still time to make a quick code phone call to Mother. Just to let you know, I'm all right, Mother, and the band's doing very well. We'll be back soon. No, doesn't look as though this telephone's working. Must be the vandals. An absolute disaster. Didn't know anything about that they were supposed to pay us. The posters were only up in the nappy, nowhere else, so it's only people who would go in the nappy. Swo didn't know about it, it does got a bollocky. Complete disaster. We'll see tonight how it goes. Uh, well, on a normal night it's about 15 or something like that, but to tell you the truth, it's a bit of a bloodbath. <laughs> 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 the cleaners have to clean twice a day because of the amount of, amount of blood. <laughs> no, and I said, is that the regiment guys? He said, I oh, know they keep themselves to themselves. It's the, uh, it was getting rather crazy out in Cyprus when we were there. Yeah. There were no stuff. There like big, it sort of throwing cans into the fan, <coughs> and then when they got bored with that, it was full of bottles of uh, beer and glasses and stuff like that. Right. There's like fatalities there. Steve's got five hundred dollars for as well. Yeah. Mm. Good. Fight the like the jam ones, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but anyway, he said it's it's been. We've got smell and vision on that video. It was just uh, uh, bad. Right, so we should have a tannoy going. I rang up the worst. Hey, the worst thing is, I rang Calvin up. Yeah, yeah. I said, look, Cal, get onto these these guys. They haven't it's done anything. I left it on his answer phone, so he's gonna get back. Oh, the no. guys arranged it. All. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck's going on? Oh, dear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better ring him up again, actually. Yeah, tell it so. He's going to ring up again. If he rings up that warrant officer or rings up yeah. Anderson, the warrant officer's going to get it. What the fuck? It's already been done. What have you got? Yeah, we've got the number. I'll get in touch with him again. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I can see Cal's career going on. That's <laughs> right. He is. He's going to get a phone call from the swell. Chip McMahon here. He's going to get a phone call from the swell. Chip McMahon here. Right. Right, five, four, ten. Right, right, right. See you later. Good. Hold the door for me, Glyn. He's going to get me, mate. Ah, uh, stop it. Where is he in my spot? The fucking t-shirt's wrong. That feels good having clean stuff on. It smells nice as well, Schmidt. Look at that. Thanks a room. Posh. <laughs> Hold on, what was all that combing of the hair and getting ready? The posh kids play RF Lucas and find out there's only three people there and they're not clapping very loudly either.
tape. Well, I'll tell you what this was supposed to be about. We're, we're uh, a bunch of techies from Finningley, and, and we were sent on a mission from our fly sergeant to earn a bit of uh, money for the charity playing around the various places. It's probably the biggest camp we've played, and... Uh, <laughs> Need I say more? Hey, this is a song... The fella you've been dancing with all over the neighborhood. Well, why didn't you ask me, baby? I didn't you think I could? Well, I know the boogaloo was out of sight, and the shillings are driving tonight. Well, why didn't you see me, baby? I could have shown you how to do it right. Do it right. Shake it, shake it, baby. Sam, we're nearly out of Scotland. How do you feel? Yes! <laughs> Don't worry about a thing You know that every little thing is gonna be alright So don't worry about a thing You know that every little thing is gonna be alright Woke up this morning, smiled at the rising sun. Three little birds singing outside my window, singing sweet songs. A melody true and blue, singing, this is my message to you. So don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright Don't worry about a thing You know that every little thing gonna be alright Woke up this morning, smiled at the rising sun Three little birds singing outside me window Singing sweet song, yes the melody true and blue. Singing, this is my message to you. So don't worry about a thing. You know that every little thing gonna be alright. So don't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
I used to be like that. You know, I found a way of getting out of it. Tell me about it. Let me tell you about it. Sitting in the classroom thinking it's a drag. Listening to the teacher, that ain't my bag. The new bell rings, and that's my cue. I'm gonna see the boys on floor number two. Smoking in the boys' room. Smoking in the boys' room. So anyway, it looks as though we're back to jolly old blighty. Well done, boys. Back to England. We showed them. Hold on. Was that a musical video we just heard? Hmm. Just like the ones on top of the pops. Mind you, I think I prefer Pan's people. Yes. On No, go on, what? I didn't mean to say that. Tell me what I like about Scotland. What do you like about Scotland? Fuck all! <laughs> How's it feel to be back in England, mate? Better than it did to feel to be in Scotland. Yeah? You nearly fluffed your lines then, didn't you? Oh, yeah. He's trying to follow Dez. He's a maniac. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You know, the thing about, like, Scotland is, like, it's like... It's like Scotland, but like England, it's like... Like England, you know. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Night, night. You know why I'm smoking this bag? No, go on. Because Steve's not here. Yeah. Is that it? Your champion. Okay, also stay. It's all mine, all mine. The fog of the time is all mine. Why are you fog man? How man? Milky Brown!
Yes, wise words, Mr. DJ, but aren't you yourself a buffoon? Yeah, I should do it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you probably like something. Is it? Washington, yeah. That's no, that's uh... There's a chicks, it's the place to be. There's no chicks, no chicks. There's no bass guitarist. Did you bring the radio? <laughs> Alrighty, party on. Tell them across the box, who? Oh, Right. Yeah, all these guys that appear to, all these guys that appear to be nice guys to start off with, they turn out to be absolute jerk brains. Why? Like the guy who sorted us all out with all the stuff and everything. Yeah. A great guy. They turn out to be a policeman and an absolute arse. God, Mark. Yeah. We were going to sing Ging Gang Gooly Gooly Watch while she was sat around that torch. Because it did look like a campfire. It looked like a campfire. Maybe squatting down along the torch. I'm afraid you were. We were sorting out. Des gave him a posh kid's card. He said he, he loved us. Oh, there's Des. Oh, Des. Yeah, right. What's the gen? How much should we make tonight? Des has some food. Reserve. You got some food? Got no food. Got food haven't oh, we got no food. food. Some wine. Let's have hey, some hey, wine. The bar bill was 31 quid. <laughs> <laughs> 31 quid? Yeah. That's, That's right. a, a cheap night out there. That's just some spare pin money, is it? Investors can't get there. I think it was. That's what I don't think it was. The way it counted down to Frankie Goes to Hollywood went one to eight and went, whoa! You could it tell was a policeman. It was a yeah, it was. policeman. He was just sort good. Of, sort of a disco please. Same thing. <laughs> he was made for dancing. This is it. It's fantastic. Is that so the bar bill was 31 and we made 25. Isn't that again? Yay! Uh, How can our bar bill be 31 quid? Better cut down a little then. All we had was four shandies, wasn't it? No. Six quid a round, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. First, yeah. Six quid a round. Yeah. Red wine, right? Red wine. Well, we can't well, ask what we need to do, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, didn't what did you find out? I mean, we didn't even drink that the other night. We only made 25 quid out of that truffle. 50 tickets. That's not bad for a lot of people in there. No, actually, yeah. that was okay. Then. Someone else with a posh kids t shirt. Fucking noobs. Do you know what happened with the, uh, the raffle? What? Yeah, we freaked it. Yeah. There was five, we're not having this on tape. Yeah, well, there was five people. There was, uh, there, was, uh, there, was six, there was six who won. So I moved the mileage by one mile, and there's only one winner. Good. <laughs> 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 so what are we going to do? Look, what, what do I do? Do I want to get him up on stage and ask him a question? So he knows. Make up the mileage. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what I said was, uh, I'll speak to the main game. That's a good one. And that's after we've finished playing. <laughs> Note the scorch marks on yeah. the, uh, the, the side of the poster and the, the word shit inscribed on it. That's right, we've got that. Nobody but, likes to see that happen. <laughs> but we shot them last night, didn't we? Eh? <laughs> 
packing their bags and leaving RAF Leeming, the Poshkis make their way down to RAF St. Hathen. At the airborne motorway, they happen across a bus of women going to their next gig. The Poshkis have got time to wave, but mm -mm, sorry ladies, no autographs today, we've got a gig to do. Is there anybody here called uh, Shadwell? <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you. Disciplinary rules for song is not by a Welsh man. Fact, none of them are, because they haven't written any songs. <laughs> It says we've got a book on on one camp. We're living on one camp, performing on the other. Right. All right. The gig at St. Ethan went very, very well, and all three people who turned up enjoyed it very, very much and said they would come back again. Thank you very much, the posh kids. Right, we have the way first time. We just drove past it. Now look, it's a minute. We left it in an update. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. lost again. <laughs> we were driving to Kelvin Town. We knew where we were. They're not going to get out of you. They're not going to get out of you. We knew where we were. I knew where we were. So there's a fucking pork scratching in the top. Mm. It's on the back. Are you in them? Yeah, you go. Oh, you should break the door. That was my, uh, that was my reward for the best. Right, what I need is a beer. Yeah, I thought you said there were stacks of beers. Oh. There isn't. Well, you have one each. Four beers and two lagers. That's when you got three and a half and get three So, there's something to sit on here. Stop it, you scam. <laughs> It's only small. <laughs> I, can, I can see that. Guardroom staff have offered the posh kids the best room on the camp. Yes, it really is five star accommodation. But hold on, after they wake up, they realize what a mess they'd made last night. Mm hmm. Chance of a bull light here, fellas. We better pack and get out of here as quick as we can. Here we see Glenn still sleeping. He is a lion because he got lost last night on the way back. He couldn't find his way back and didn't get back. Yes. Hmm, there's the bags packed. Here we see Dave catching up on some literature. He's been away for a week now. He's forgotten what a woman looks like. Yes, that's a woman, Dave. Her lord, she hasn't got any clothes on.
Hey, are you ready, Des? Am I ready for what? Steve? Okay. Sam? Okay. All right, fellas, let's go! Last train to Kansas City. Bush kids make their way to Area Poltic. They turn into the guardroom and get told to put their video camera away. It's for security reasons, you know. They get given their room, but hold on, I don't think they like the look of their new roommate. Down here then. Which way do we come up? Into Wilsbury down, down that near road. Yeah. Yeah, because that's a shitty one. Ellsbury, Tame, M40, Oxford A40. Yeah. Right then, for Ellsbury, you go turn left here, yeah. all the way down into Wendover again. When well, you get that little mini roundabout, turn right. Yeah. That you follow us you to lead, Wendover, yeah, uh, you lead to Ellsbury, yeah. Right, yeah. When well, yeah. we get onto Ellsbury, well, there's lots and loads and loads of mini roundabouts. We're just going to pull in a bit and you come past the other him. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay then. We'll, um, we'll flash the fog lights when we want you to walk the tickets. Right, yeah. Yeah. What well, just happened there? We thought we were booked in to Bry's for two nights and we weren't, so we had to grovel around getting a call to Gatehouse. Oh, by the way, the band who wanted to play yesterday who weren't drunk, uh, we've just been in the guard room and they were sort of in the cells. Good one, lads. Rock and roll. Now, this is posh. The posh kids arrive at Bryce Norton only to find the stage is bigger than some of the rooms they've played in. It's a real nightmare for Des, he's the technical manager you know. Fingers crossed, yes, and it's all sorted out in a jiffy, with Des's technical expertise. Hey right Des, this is like the uh, Spotlight Club, right? I've dreamed about it since I was uh, that big and uh, it's a fucking barn, we'll never fill it. <laughs> Hey, check it out. That's how hard I am on a guitar, right? Oh, What's up, Glenn? Well, I've lost this fucking thing. See, the string going up. That seat, too, those little white things. When I snapped the string last night, bloody spawn something. But what they want us to do is play at the Melbourne Club tomorrow and we're in a quandary as to whether there'll be anybody turning up for our actual charity gig on Thursday. Yeah, so the we'll considered the opinion is... Uh, Fuck it off. Fuck it off. We're not doing anything. Yeah, what, do you what, do you, what do you think we are? A charity? <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to wear that shirt tonight then, are you, Des? Does it look as though it's uh, fresh out of the pocket? I can, yes. I can pick up the creases. The can pick up the <laughs> I can pick up the creases in black and white. You know the other room. I'm being fairly casual here. And the considered opinion about the rugby club do in this room is. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely off. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's women and alcohol and lots of money in it for us. So that's uh, two rooms to zero then. <laughs> so Grayson. 
They yeah. want us to do a gig at the rugby club. Yes. Do you agree with playing at the rugby football club, Grayson? Well, no. And I'll tell you why. Why? Why? Yes. Hmm. A short but informative talk about the game of rugby football as we know it. Goodbye. He's Des. He's a nice chap. He knew this lady's husband was away on detachment. So he spent yesterday evening there looking at her etchings. Unfortunately his car broke down, so he had to stay overnight. One more. With no time to spare, the posh kids pack up, get in their cars and make their way down to RAF Locking by the sea. Yeah, the uh, match has gone through that so far, I think. So, and was it true, uh, uh, Mr. Clark, that you ran away without paying the uh, without paying the bill? Uh, that was not entirely true. I did make every effort possible to pay the bill, but unfortunately, they just wouldn't take the money off me. Uh, is that true, or is it uh, bullshit? Uh, I think it might be bullshit. Uh, what do you say to that? Uh, no comment. down here and drinking and eating and being married. Because that's what we do there. It's the beach. <laughs> kids came across some complete buffoons on the holiday, but just take a look at this fellow from Godigsby. The question is, what sort of music are you going to play tonight? No, I'm asking you. No, he's You're asking me. <laughs> right. Okay, ask what me. What position do you hold in the club? <laughs> what position do I hold in the club? I am deputy secretary to the entertainment secretary. Right. And do you feel uh, you've got complete control of what's going on tonight? <laughs> I should have complete control, but... Um, from what I know about the place, I will not. Have you been here long? I've been here about two and a half years. Uh, who's on the disco tonight? Who's on the disco tonight? I've got to uh, allocate them. If I can't find anybody, I am. Really? Hey, we're rocking tonight. We're severely rocking. When we're on the disco, you're going to have five minute breaks between records, and you're going to have plenty of Mickey Mouse impressions. Great. Bargain. Cheers, Andy. Anything to add? Anything to add? <laughs> Anything to add? Only thing to add is, if I'm in charge of the disco, you better watch out. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be mad. It's going to be wild. It's going to be fast. <laughs> and, right. going down. and there's going to be plenty of laughs. You're going to laugh at plenty. Time when you know you've made a mistake. Or like, this is what happened at Coningsby when we said, "Does anyone want to come up and sing a song?" I mean. 
usually people are dead shy and you don't get anyone up. I mean, we'd been doing it all through the tour. We'd only got a couple of people up. Well, as soon as their turn came on, about 100 people ran onto the stage, grabbed all our equipment, started treading on the drums, the cables, the, the intercom boxes, the whole works. And basically, we had to pull the plug on them halfway through <laughs> and start clearing. Uh, in fact, while we were clearing the equipment away, <laughs> they, was, they were still up there singing. Yeah, all in all, it was, uh, we had a really good time. We made some money for charity, and uh, everything went really well. Uh, would I do it again? No, I don't think I would. It was, it was very, very hard work. It was, uh, it was a lot harder than I'd originally thought. <laughs> but that's rock and roll. The tour was fun. It was two weeks sitting in a van after people had had a curry. And so... There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you've enjoyed meeting the Bosch kids and seeing what they got up to on the 1993 tour. They had a jolly good time. I hope you have too. Bye-bye. Yes. <laughs> Oh, my God.